Hi, my name is Bethany Bernard, and I used to go by another name, Bethany Dillon, but then I got married, and that's another story for another day. But uh, just wanted to say hi. It's been a while since I've done music in a way that is shared on a bigger platform. I've been um, at home with our four daughters and just kind of taking care of all the things. Um, and while music has been a part of my life and something that I still love, as far as creating songs and like that being something I've made time for, hasn't really been a part of the last few years. Um, there was a, a window of time that I really tried for it to be and nothing came. And so I just thought, well, Maybe, you know, that's for another season. Um, but I really felt like God had something for what I thought was then. But then I was like, I guess it's just for the future. Um, and then came 2020. I don't know if you know, but it was a really hard year for everyone. And uh, our extra hard that was thrown into that was, uh, the biggest one was that my dad uh, was, he had been fighting stage four cancer for over a year at the new year in January, 2020. And then um, not very long into 2020 got news that none of the treatments were working and that they had run out of options. And, uh, so soon after that, my dad was put on hospice and uh, they live in Ohio. We live in Texas. And so we piled up our family of six in the van and drove up there and spent the last weeks of my dad's life with him and with my family, which was a blessing um, to be able to be there. But it goes without saying that it was a really, uh, a really hard, confusing, kind of numb time, really painful time. While dad was on hospice, I would go, we would all take turns caring for dad and helping mom. And uh, a few times a day, I would go outside and just go for a walk on the country road I grew up on. And during those walks, I couldn't pray. <laughs> I don't know if you, know what that is like when you are just in pain and you want to talk to God and yet you're really mad at God. And I couldn't pray, but I could sing. And a song started and it just grew with every walk. And um, I finished that song uh, a little bit after my dad passed away in May. Um, and so I was like, wow, a song, you know. Uh, didn't think much of it, but was glad to have something to say and to sing to the Lord. And then I went home to Texas with my family, and uh, soon after, another song came about my mom. And then another song, and then another song. And so uh, pretty soon, uh, within a few months, there were 11 songs um, about all different days within grieving and doubting and anger and uh, not being able to feel the enormity of what it all was. Uh, on top of that, there just were other hard things going on in our life. I don't know if you've had experiences like that where it's never just one thing. So, so a few other really huge things happened. And for me personally, I kind of was the lowest I have ever been in my life um, and was uh, clinically depressed and um, was actually diagnosed with OCD. And that was really helpful, but really hard. And um, this summer in the middle of the shadowiest, hardest time of my life to date, where honestly I felt the farthest from the Lord, uh, all these songs came. And I feel like God gave them to me in order for me to still talk to him and to still um, just to have relationship with him. Real relationship is 
not always like, man, I just love you and you're the best and God is perfect and yet he's given us access to real relationship with him. And so I think I got the first experience of really walking in honest relationship with God, um, all, largely through these songs. So all of that to say, uh, I really started to feel burdened to share them, to share them with my family and my community and to also share them with you. And so my hope is that just like any other hard experience we go through, whether that's becoming a mom or losing a loved one or losing a job or getting a terrible diagnosis, um, there is this strange comfort when someone comes alongside of you and doesn't give you all the answers, but just says, yeah, me too. And, um, and these songs weren't really written in order to be that for somebody, but now that they're here, I'm like, well, I think that they could be that for you. I hope that they could be that for you. And um, we're really hoping to get this record out this year. We've gotten a lot of it done so far, but it is not finished and we would love your support. I would love your support in um, just getting it finished and done well and excellently and able to share with you and for you to share and pass on as soon as possible. So please consider supporting me on my Kickstarter and um, would love to get some of these songs to you really, really soon.